Hello, everybody. I am FTA. I'm Jono. I'm T Bay. I am the Anti Guardian. You forgot who you <laughs> are. You <laughs> haven't been on. No, so he's been on in a year. You forgot what his online has, name was. He always has a dramatic pause, and I just want the the listeners at home to uh, know that when Bobby said that during his pause, he had a little eyebrow raise, uh, <laughs> like uh, the dorky. Oh. I'm gonna extend that pause by thirty seconds in post. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, we're here back whenever uh, issue of Sonic says. And today we are finally. Going to be finishing off the Unleashed arc. Oh, yeah, we'll see. It's been years. <laughs> it's been 3,000 years! Ugh. We are going to be um, starting off with possibly the most pointless oh, boy. issue in the entire run of the franchise. Tell us how you really feel. Issue 283, <laughs> and then the um, four part climax to the saga Panic in the Sky. Panic in the Sky with, with diamonds. diamonds. So, um,. Let's get, you know, I, I don't think there's, at this point in time, Archie and Sega are still in quotation marks talks yeah. to bring the, uh, to bring the book back. Um, no, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. <laughs> Just print the dang books. No, no, you're stupid. You print the books for a game company. You know, Bob, you haven't been on in a while. What, what are your thoughts, before we get into, into the uh, review in the arc, what are your thoughts on the whole, how Archie's acting? You fans of Archie? You like what they're doing? No. No, I unfollowed them on all social media a while back. But how will you? But how will you find out how many how many burgers Jughead eats on a daily basis? Mm. Oh, gotta gotta know. If what's you don't going follow them, the Bobby, off. if you don't follow them, how will you know if Reggie's still a jerk? Yeah, that is true. I forget. How if I care, how will you know when Riverdale's on? It's still on. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't canceled after the first season. As we talk about this, we have we have season <laughs> one episode. We have literally paused. We are literally one quarter through the last episode of season one. This show is like a train wreck. It's really bad. I can't wait for season two. This show is so bad. But the big Whoa. question is, did Jughead eat a burger? Apparently, Not yet. Show. Apparently, Not yet. in this episode, he does. He ate a burger-shaped cake. No, Betty he made him one. Yeah, for his he ate right? some of it. He did. But apparently in this, in uh, season one, episode 13, chapter 13, the sweet hereafter, young Jughead Jones... Wheat a burger. Does that seem Jones? Yeah. 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 Was it Forsyth? Kind of for them, Jones? It's Forsyth something or other. Jones. J- J- they called him Jack A. Jones on the show before. No, I get that. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying you're wrong. Oh. I'm just like, that's kind of dumb. Jones is a, like, a name. I don't care. Jughead isn't a name. I don't care, what it, I don't Jones care about Jughead. Is a name. <laughs> I don't care about Jughead. Okay. I just said that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oh. You're a liar. <laughs> That's impossible, or at the very least, improbable. I can't wait until we can just not talk about Archie ever again. Yeah, just three episodes more to go, my friend, then we're done. Let's just get right in there. So, on the Hedgehog issue two eighty three, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's broken up into two different stories, and they're both pointless. Both uh, really pointless. Yeah, no, <laughs> part one: the mission, written by Ian Flynn. Pencils by Jamal Peppers, inks by Terry Austin, colors mm-hmm. by Gabriel Cassiter, letters by John Workman, cover by Diane Skelly, which is this pretty the, the main cover for issue two eighty three. It's got a very nice graphic look to it. I like it. It is very the good best. cover. I, it's, it's, I it's, would like a print. I would buy a print of this. It's a very good, very good. Um, oh. The uh, uh, Guardians variant by Adam Bryce Thomas, Gary Martin, and uh, Cassiter. And uh, Jonathan, why don't you want you take it away? Um, so if you want to know what happens in the first half of it. Go back and w- and watch the other videos we've done. <laughs> the end. <laughs> it's it's essentially. I mean, this is the reason why I say, and you know what? Just just to get it get it out the way, the, the second half is called Zero Hour, written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Jen Fernandez, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassiter, and letters by John Workman. The reason why I say this issue is point- pointless is that it is this is literally just like previously on. Yeah. Which, on one hand, I can understand because this arc, this arc has gone on for two years. Yeah. And I think it's it's because this is the longest, I, I would assume, the longest arc in this franchise's history. By uh, yes. A single story for two years. Um, and because, you know, let's not forget this book is marketed towards children, even though well, we are you know, um, did the, how long did Tossed in Space go on? Not, not, not nearly Ooh. as long. It was probably like, it was, it might have been a year. year. So it, I mean, this has been two years, so it, it might have been the second longest, but not nearly as long as this. Right. And you didn't need a, you did, you did not need a uh, a uh, previously on 
full issue for that. Well, see, the, the not sp- only because it was terrible, but yes, it was very <laughs> terrible. Well, see, the the thing that's weird about this though is essentially the first half is Sonic and Sally are essentially they're on the sky, they're essentially doing a live broadcast to all of the Freedom Fighters and their allies. Yeah, around them, pretty much saying. Saying this is what we've done. We have, you know, the chaos we have, emeralds, these we have keys, the keys. We have these emeralds. You know, this is our this is our, our plan. And, you know, to be fair, you get some nice things. You get to see like, uh, you get to see the um, uh, commander from Shadow the Hedgehog. You get to see some of the um, the underwater freedom fighters. You get your hunting the cat, Chuck, Uncle Chuck, and Mutley, the Chaotix, Mus- King Acon, Musky, Mus- Mus- Mutley, Mus- same Mus- thing. <laughs> Wait, what? Ray, what? Ray, and uh, Dick Dastardly. Dick Dastardly, you know. <laughs> We get to see that the, there's a nice panel I like. Penelope where, <laughs> That's panel I see where Korean finally gets reunited with her mother again. Yeah. That's well, nice there's panel. there's a B plot in this first story where Cream Big uh, and Gemeral and Cheese yeah. are bringing the Gaia key temp, temple keys and the Chaos Emeralds to King Acorn to be stored for safekeeping yes. before they do it instead of, you know, just freaking doing it. <laughs> Oh, and just do it and I will say on you, t- yesterday you said tomorrow <laughs> I will say on page one two uh, big tails and cream and cheese are in a, a ship that looks like Opa Opa from Fantasy Zone which uh, I'm sure he's not listening but our boy Tracker would love that he's, he would love that stuff uh, but what makes this what makes this book very redundant I mean I again as I said this is a book for kids so I can understand yeah. I can understand Archie, like, um, Archie editorial being like, we need to, you know, get, keep reminded, keep giving it up to speed again before we finish the story, which yeah. on one hand, I, I, I can understand that, but the problem is, the first story ends of Tell's channel about the Sky Patrol, and then, that's a, I love Tell's channel, where she's <laughs> bringing us lunch <laughs> and memes, no, hey, Matt, Tell's, Tell's though, and then basically cuts to, like, Eggman, and the problem is, we get... The same freaking dialogue. I mean, basically, in a in a both of these stories are ten pages, and we spend two of these pages with literally just dialogue from the first story. Yeah, it's very redundant, and it's always like, why why is this in the same issue for? I mean, I know I know from us from a story standpoint, we need to have we need to have Eggman learn this information because mm-hmm. essentially he he um the cu- uncovers the details of their plans and that he knows how to like how to uh, attack yeah. them, which. From from a story standpoint, that makes sense, but just you could have had him re- learn this off screen. I mean, you I need can, to well, I have can, him read or, the same dialogue. I can yeah. understand why they because you could have had this all as one single story, intersplice the main story with scenes of Eggman. But I think what they were going for was, hey, you know, it'll be a surprise where it's like, oh, look, Eggman found out. Or the, but they, they, it they, doesn't they, work no. if it's in the it same issue. Work. You just yeah. turn the page and it's Eggman's story. It doesn't it, work. They could have just done the first story and then, like, where it goes into the second story, it cuts to Eggman watching on the monitor screen yeah. and they explain he's yes. been watching the entire time and then go from there instead of... This. But, I mean, there is a there is a point to, to Eggman doing stuff because he is also contacting all his lackeys that he has occurred yes throughout the time he and talks I think we, to Faze we, get, we haven't seen, seen Faze since Spark of Life and we're yeah. speaking with the Batu uh, Cuckoo and the um, the Hootagoons and Wendy and he gets Metal Sonic so like there's yeah. I, I would say of the two I do prefer I think Eggman's heart story is more fun to read just because it's Eggman just slapping all bot around a lot. Also, it's Jennifer Hernandez, Hernandez art. Yes, and, and she, we love Jenny Hernandez. We, we love Jennifer so, Hernandez. But Eggman always looks so good. But yeah. it's, it's just again, it's just it's just redundant to have those two pages. I mean, I I feel, I feel bad saying this, and I said it off off mic, but I'll say it again. This is a waste of twenty pages and four dollars. This might be the hardest we've ever been on a single issue. And again, I, I, well. I honestly... We love the book. Love the book. But... I honestly just think, again, I wouldn't be surprised if this was an Archie editorial mandate yeah. for this. I mean, I mean, if, yeah. if, if, if it was Ian's idea, I, I understand... I can understand why this needed based on, again, the target audience for this book. But I, I just feel it's just... This could have been handled a lot better. Yeah. If we had to bring everyone up to speed... We didn't need twenty pages of the same so information. So you just cannot. I can't even TJ. <laughs> I can't. Okay, one three five seven nine. I can't even. Yeah, I mean they're darn it. <laughs> <laughs> took you a while. TJ took you a while. Um, there are. I mean, there are good little bits in it. Like I like. I like when. Um, 
Eggman gets really excited near the end, and he ends up hugging Metal Sonic, Metal Sonic and then Metal Sonic <laughs> skeeved out. He just kind of scoots away. Again, the Eggman story is the better of two, and you know, okay, saying it's, it's a complete waste of twenty pages is is harsh, but it's yeah. just in terms of this doesn't add. Any, well, aside from Eggman finding out their plan, it doesn't this doesn't really add much to the overall yeah. story. It, it just I mean, if you if they were if Archie were able to release this book or any other book ever again, like if if they were to do a a like um. Like a complete omnibus of yeah. this arc, you could remove this. It you could remove it a. You, you could remove the Sonic chunk of it. Yeah, you know, there's not much happens in it. I do have a nitpick though, as well. well another nitpick, I guess. <laughs> um, Jamal Peppers does the art for the first one, and he does this thing where he um, all the panels with the cream storyline have like this thick red outline, and then a little clock in the corner. Mm-hmm. And I assume that means oh, time meanwhile, or there's yeah. time passing. But if you look at the little clock, time doesn't pass. <laughs> time, time stands still. Just like reading this issue makes time feel like it's standing still. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> it's metaphorical. I'm sorry. That was that was really harsh. I'm sorry. I don't think Ian listens to this, but it's okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Because we, we love this book. But yeah, I mean, any, any last words to say about that issue? No, let's let's leave it. Tita's even falling asleep now. Hi, Matt Herms. It, he's, he listens. It had nothing oh, to he do Matt with Matt Herms had nothing to do with this issue. I just, but he listened, so I wanted to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing I have to see say. See you with too many games, Matt. I can't wait to see you there. Um, so mo- moving on to Song the Hedgehog, uh, 284, Panic in the Sky, 1 of 4, Part 1, The Best Laid Plans. Written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Diana Skelly, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassiter, letter letters by John Workman, cover by Dan Shonen. How do you pronounce his name? Shonen. 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 And Louis uh, Delgado. Evil Win variant: Rick uh, Bryant, Lamar Wells, and Matt Holmes. Oh, okay, Matt Holmes is working on the cover. Uh, I don't have that cover, but Jonathan does. Hi, Matt. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're you covering there it. There you go. I'm looking. That's great. That's my great cut on there, Matt. Good work. You should have done the whole book. I love you. Um. So, Jonathan, let me start off by saying this is a great issue and I love it. Okay? This, yeah, you know, we, we, like, we, we, we skimmed through it very, before we started and this is yeah. probably the best issue. This is my favorite is issue, really issue of the whole five issues we're, we're reading. Let's um, just ignore the last one. Okay, yeah, let's just happens. ignore that. So, we begin and they're starting to put up a celebration for when they put the world back together. Uh, um, doing a little uh, counting of the chickens before they hatch, huh? <laughs> they, I think they actually say that, uh, Sally says, don't you think this is a little premature? Uh, there's a buffet, buffet style and a nice little uh, nice little banner with band-aids over a broken world and, and a broken and They even have the uh, Sonic ice cream Sonic with yeah. the uh, <laughs> jointed gumball eyes. Yes. I mean, Diana Skelly, she you're, did a great job. You're, you're great. Uh, Sonic's like, Oh, come on. We deserve to be, you know, to be happy. Let's just be happy. And so Sally's like, hey, Nicole, what's going on? And Nicole is like, um, I don't know. I'm looking around. Oh, crud. All of our weapons, our low-range sensors, our shields, and our communications are down. Why for? Why for? It is Tails Doll. Or Phage. I'm not very sure. It's Phase through Tails Doll. And, uh, the boy speaking a... in tongues got an exorcist. The power of Sonic. <laughs> 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 Your, Your mother, mother eats rings. Dogs. In... <laughs> oh, he starts, starts talking about Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Give me those mushrooms. So the Tails doll that we had seen previously in air vents and such has uh, produced or morphed into phage. In a very creepy way, attacking the AI Nicole. It's a great, it's a great um, um, drawing. It's like a morphin and just screams die. <clears throat> it looks, it looks like Venom's like. I'm gonna eat, eat your brain or something. Um, eat your brains, TJ. But no. I use those to think. <laughs> no, you don't. About food. No, you don't. You're a liar. <laughs> Nicole can barely utter its tails doll before the uh, the uh, Sky Patrol is hit by the Battle Cuckoo Battle Fortress. 
where the Battle Who Bird Armada these are about to. Who the, takes up this universe? The, the, the Who names these? The I kind of want. I kind of want one of the, uh, the Battle Cuckoo Armada like mooks to just be like, "Don't you think we could use another adjective other than battle?" I'm just saying. We need we need a better name for our group. Hmm. How about the Clue Clue Clucks Clan? No! No! We weren't even in Sonic Battle. I don't even get it. <laughs> this is one in the back's like, I can't think of anything wrong with that name. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one dressed as a ghost, right? <laughs> it's, it's King Boom Boom in the back. There's nothing wrong with that name. Ooh. What is wrong with this show? <laughs> oh. So Sally sends So Sally sends Sonic, Bunny, and Antoine to the roof to <laughs> jump off. <laughs> <laughs> this this franchise needs to end to go. <laughs> Archie's ending the book soon anyway. We might as well just end it ourselves. The next talk would even get finished. Abandoned <laughs> ship! <laughs> oh, boy. Um, while Sally and the rest have to figure out stuff on board, we cut to this really lovely panel at the very bottom where Knack is looking over mm. the, uh, well, it's Royal Hill Zone now, Mobotropolis, uh, through binoculars, he's got this very nice starry-eyed look, and these these beams of light are coming out over the uh, the castle from the skies. I, I I really I really like that little panel. He's like ah, oh. but then he gets all evil and is like, first time for everything. We're gonna we're gonna rob him. We're gonna chase the joint. We're gonna ram him. <laughs> <laughs> so the hooligans hop on the uh, points. Hop on uh, the uh, what's next ship called? The something beauty. Um, Marvelous Queen. The Marvelous Queen. The gummy ship. The gummy ship. This is like a gummy ship from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <Boss. laughs> really oh. Which Chip and Dale put in the thing? So the invasion consists consists of the witch charter, the witch carters, the hooligans, a lot of badniks, and Metal Sonic. Yeah. Um, Gem General is the one that sets out to fight uh, the hooligans, but Metal Sonic grabs him by the foot and takes him away. They... There's a nice line from that when General turns up and Metal Sonic just fly, like, picks up and flies away. Knack just goes, like clockwork, maybe maybe Eggman's actually a genius after all. Uh, uh, I like that line. So the, uh, the hooligans ram the gate and storm the castle. While Metal and General are fighting in the sky, Badniks swarming around them, uh, the hooligans come across King Acorn having a spot of tea. Uh, they don't take Knack doesn't take him very seriously, but we get to see the real muster of King Acorn when he uh, pops out with his light sword, lightsaber, and his lightsaber shield. Yeah, you know, the, yeah, that's pretty think, cool. You know, it's, I mean, it, Makes sense because it's obviously an extension of what Sally has for her yeah. little, little like um, like blades. This is much cooler though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The shield and the I love how we even guess like the little like um, sword glove like uh, Sonic has and Black Knight. What's it called? Oh like, yeah. Armor oh, glove. Don't let go on Oh, sword glove. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take I'll take one sword glove, please. Oh, and we get a we get a nice like few panels of King Acorn just. Pummeling well, it's Knack a, and uh, yeah, Bean. Yeah, essentially Knack and Bean are no problem for him, but you get uh, Bark just destroys him. Love just Bark. like hammers with his fists down. It's it's really but it's really nice. Last moment, after he hammers him down, you can tell Bark's like, oh, I, 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 I've I killed royalty. <laughs> I've killed again. Oh, God. Oh, no. Regicide. <laughs> Regicide. Oh. Rota lamb shades, ma'am. Ma'am. So with the king with the king down because I guess there are no royal guards besides general, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, with with uh, the king down, the hooligans are free to escape with uh, the case that contains the chaos emeralds and the guy temple keys. Metal Sonic takes the briefcase and flies off, while general is tacked, tackled by the uh, witch carters. Meanwhile, on top of the sky patrol. Sonic, Bunny, and Antoine are still fighting. Um, 
Antoine does his nice little Black Knight sword spin dash thing. Uh, inside the ship, Speedy, the uh, Battle Cuckoo's son. I forget, is, is, I'm not sure if this was post, pre-reboot, post-reboot, or if I was, if I just dreamt this in a fever dream. Was he supposed to be related to Jet at one point in the book? Did that ever happen? Or I just no, yeah, that? um, so, the, um, the Babylon rogues are implied in this and in the pre-boot, flat out stated to be, for, like, defects from the, uh, Battle of Bird Armada. But does that make him related to Speedy, or they just like they just knew each other? See, I think they. I, I don't know if they're specifically related. They might have. They might have said that they were hinted at them being related pre-reboot, but I don't think so. Post. I don't think they flat out said that. Post-reboot. Um, but I mean, they are. They were at some point part of the Battle Bird Armada, and I think, I think Jet was very close with Speedy. Mm-hmm. At the very least, I don't know if they were brothers, brothers in arms. I don't Jet know. like a hawk or around your neck. Yeah, Speedy's got this uh, cool armor on. You know, he's he's really made, he's really expanded his wardrobe from just having a brown diaper from before. Uh, <laughs> White harness, yeah. Diaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, birds can't control their bows, so it's a good thing he had one. So. <laughs> Um, so he just pummels Sally while Chip is uh, useless and screams no. Because, I no. mean, <laughs> she, she locked him in his cell to protect him. <laughs> no! No, don't do an uppercut to the face. No, don't don't Sally, stab. Can, Sally, can you make me a savage? No! No! Uh, yeah, she was trying to keep him in a what's cell. What's the tails, though? What's the what's what's, what's 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 tails, tails though? though? Oh. Go watch Fresh Pints if you want to know what we're talking about. <laughs> no, I just <laughs> keep it in this. <laughs> I got that reference. So, <laughs> so, all right, Captain America. So Speedy grabs uh, Chip and makes off, while Rotor and Tails are doing dumb, uh, dumb science stuff, trying to figure out where the Tails doll is within the ventilation shaft. I mean, they send all these things like um, there's a there's a um, there's a chow in there, there's teapot, there's I, I these. I think I, I, th- I think they're all the things from what generations oh, from, or is it no that's from Lost World they're the RT things which yeah. is again nice reference putting this thing from the Lost World game itself but nice nice <laughs> reference nice <laughs> reference and then T-Pop finds Tails though and rips it to shreds good good um meanwhile in the digital world with the di- Digimon di- di- Digimon <laughs> uh Nicole goes overclocked Whatever that means, she goes super, essentially, uh, because Tails inserts a uh, red, red star ring on top of her handheld unit, which which is what they did in um, Spark of Life, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're not just pulling this out of their uh, Master Emerald holder. Overclock Nicole, blast processing. Blast processing. Is that what it says? Ha! You, you sneaky so and so in. I love nah. it. Um, so Sally and Phage fight, and it, uh, it ends up not looking as good for. Did I say Sally? I meant Nicole. Nicole. Sally uh, is limping her way across the sky patrol. Well, she she was able to defeat the rest of the gods. Yeah, but she you know um, she lost Chip. Yeah. Uh, Sonic on top of the sky patrol sees Speedy running off or flying off with Chip. And they, the rest of the battle bar, battle bard. Tis a wonderful <laughs> evening for the battle bard Amada. <laughs> Von Verily, yonder so forth. What light comes through yonder green hill zone? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the Battle Bard Amada, that's what they are from now on, I don't care. That's fine. Um, they're planting bombs on the uh, Sky Patrol. Sky Patrol blows! Song and, bombs. And pummels towards the fiery, lava-y, um, lava of the Mobius's core, but not Mobius, because you can't Jerry use the Mobius. Essentially, Sonic, yeah, Sonic says the bunny, throw me, and goes to get him, but then he falls down. Yeah, because she can't just throw him five thousand six hundred. She should be able minutes. to. 
Damn it, she's a robot. Yeah. Uh, also, Nicole loses, and everyone <laughs> freaks out. The, that's how the that's how the, the uh, franchise ends. <laughs> Nicole, Nicole loses. loses. The no end. more video games. <laughs> this comic book character died. <laughs> so moving on to um, something the Hedgehog issue two eighty five. Uh, Panic in the Sky, part two or four. You have to flip to the back because the know, credits are in the back. I just like when they do that. Part two, Falling Into Place. Written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Diane Skelly, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassiter, letters by John Workman, cover by Dan Schronin and uh, Louis and Antonio Lu- Lugalda. A uh, Gaia Colossus variant by uh, one mm. and only Evan Stanley. So back to page w- issue one. We have Sonic the Sky, which was falling down. Sonic is in free fall off the screen and shit. And in the background, we can see Bunny flying, holding on to Antoine, going towards Sonic. Yep. Meanwhile, Speedy brings the battle cuckoo, uh, Chip, and Sonic is starting to cry, but he can't fully cry because uh, Sega won't let him. He's tearing up. <laughs> I'm telling he, you, he's tearing he, up a little. If he fully cries, then the sun demon will come out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Never cry, Sonic. No matter how much bad things happens to your franchise, uh, Sonic is is speeds back into the Sky Patrol to check on everyone. Uh, he gets stopped because he sees uh, he sees Sally wounded as all get out. Th- well, she's throwing a battle bird in the battle was, bar. I wish that was real medical terminology. <laughs> oh, good lord, you are injured of all get out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so concerned, he stops to stops to see if she's okay. Um, Bunny throws more battle bards into the uh, into the fr- frizz- frigid- refrigerator. Uh, prison. The prison, not the refrigerator. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> heading back to the, uh, the what? The sky deck? The, yeah. The, I wish it was a sky deck. Sky deck. <laughs> um, the, the main room of the sky patrol. Oh man, that makes me wish, like, the Freedom Fighters, like, their base of operations the was, egg carrier. Like, was, the, was the abandoned egg carrier. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah. And then there's always in the swimming pool. <laughs> An Eggman's bed. They, they lock Sonic in the swimming pool. And he's no! like, guys, I don't want to be here. This is the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> the only way out is a secret door in the pool. You have to swim for it. Ah! They, have to, they have to take the fancy monorail. 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 <laughs> Mono. Don't. Back to the story. So, uh, Sonic heads back to the, I don't know, office. And, uh... He's like, is everything okay? And, and Rotor's like, no, everything's on fire. <laughs> uh, and Tails, crying because he's allowed to cry, is like, they, they look at the but crash it, it, up. But it's still, if you, if you look at Tails compared to Sally, it's a, it's a tiny little, little end of yeah. the eye crab. But Sally's foot on crying. Maybe Sega still have a mandate against their, their they characters. Yeah. Aside from maybe, I'm sure Cream can cry. You know, because she... I don't know. Maybe if you leave it on the counter for too long. I hate you. <laughs> so, um, Nicole's uh, handheld unit is on a table, plugged in, but shattered. Like, I think they need to dip, put it in ice or, or in rice or something. I don't know. <laughs> it got uh, wet. Put it, it in rice. Wet, it rice. Um, there, I really like the panel because there's like this outline of... Uh, the, the red star oh, the red ring. star ring with it's been like, like this. Burnt. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's, good it's pretty cool. Sally and Tails are crying at the bottom of the page. But guess what? Death fake out. Uh, Nicole pops back up on the uh, on the t- Miles Electric, being like, "Yo, all, for a I'm of, cool." For a second, I think I Guess what? Batman Shakespeare bust final <laughs> bank adverts. <laughs> 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 Yo, dude, you ever want to get to the bad pole? Buy one of these Batman Classic TV series branded Shakespeare bus vinyl banks sculpted by Paul Harder, 20 inches tall. Yo, bro, if I had to choose between reading more Sonic or looking at an advert of Bill Shakespeare's head made out of plastic, made to look like copper, I would have to think about it. Oh. 
This is the first time we've mentioned this this ad, but this ad has literally been in probably the so, majority of the issues. So many actually features ads for like DC comic character statues, like the yeah. Batman animated series statues and stuff. But I'm I, I I'm sorry for ruining that. Keep I going. Digress. I digress. I'm not. Uh, I can't stay there. I'm not coming. You sue me, TJ. So on the you ground, you sue me and kill my family. On the ground, Gemral is still tackled by <laughs> by uh, the like the bad guys. Basically, the hooligans and the witchcrafters. There's a nice panel of him yeah. kind of being covered by bark, but punching uh, Behringer right square in the face. <laughs> Good. Um, there's a nice there's a nice panel of Cream like pouncing on Bark's head. I really like that. She's just like, "Yo, get off my lawn!" I feel like Bean's like he's kind of peeing us up, like like all of us. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. And then Big can't forget Big. Yeah, but he's not. He's, I mean, he's whacking people with his fishing pole. It's actually covered up by the the text. Oh yeah, it looks which is like kind he, of kind lo- of sad. It looks like he just backhanded the yeah, rabbit in the face. <laughs> with yeah, and you know what? That's a nice detail that was uh, covered up. Looking at you, looking at you. Get off my lawn. So um, with cream here and big here, it's time for the bad guys to retreat. Um, Knack is firing while he's rotting. It's, uh... So, the day... The tide has turned. Thanks to Optimus Prime. I mean, Cream. Prime did it. He, he turned, turned the, the tide. tide. Um, so... They have to land... So, the main cast has to land and try to fix the, uh... The, uh, Sky Patrol. Sonic is carrying... What? The tubes? Or are they directions? They're, they're either pipes or they have really long toilet roll... Rolls. Yeah, no toilet paper. On them. They're gonna replace the piping with toilet paper rolls. <laughs> well, yeah, I would. You know, yeah. Um, I like that. Um, they actually they tie up Tails doll like they're gonna interrogate him like hardcore. <laughs> yeah, like they're just looking at him like, dude, you're gonna get um tortured. Oh, it's like, wow. <laughs> um, so we cut to Eggman at in uh, Apatos. Waiting for his shipment from Amazon uh, <laughs> Battle Cuckoo to, <laughs> to arrive. Uh, he's I'm a Prime member. member. This should have been here yesterday. Wait, I also ordered the complete series of Frasier. Where's <laughs> that? Two day shipping. Baby, I hear the booze are calling. <laughs> Toss scrambles and. Toss scrambles. <laughs> Toss scrambles and salad eggs. <laughs> they call him the Eggman. <laughs> I can see Eggman being a Frasier fan. <laughs> He's like, Kelsey, there's no one we need, better than Kelsey. We need Frasier. Mike Pollock to say as Eggman, I'm listening. <laughs> just, just sitting there in oh my god! Attic, <laughs> Frasier up on the big screen. Can we just can we just get the, the cast of I hate dog? episodes featuring Daphne's family. <laughs> can we get um, the, the, the voice actors from I Sonic? Think Daphne would be his favorite character. <laughs> Can we get the voice actors from uh, Sonic to do episodes of Frasier? <laughs> Just Eggman is Frasier. Um, Roger Craig Smith Please. is is is, uh, is Niles or something. <laughs> no, Eggman, Eggman should be Martin. <laughs> uh, so would uh, maybe Orbot and Cubot would be Niles and Frasier? <laughs> you have my attention. <laughs> <laughs> huh. um, so Eggman enters the uh, Gaia. The broken down Gaia temple with Chip in it, in this orb thing. It's not quite one of those. Is it one of the floating ones? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I thought it was a capsule. Yeah. I mean, it looks a little different. I mean, it, it, ain't, no, like a, it ain't, ain't no TV, but it's, no. it's a... ain't no TV. Ain't my capsule. It looks like one of the capsules from Lost World. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Eggman's like, yo. I'm going to use you to do evil in this place that I just got to. And then Chip starts to glow with power. And he's like, no, I won't. And he's like, yes, you will. And then he sends all of, he sends his uh, nice SWAT egg bots, whatever they're called, through uh, Gaia temples to lay down the, you know, lay down the law. Lay down some hot baits. Lay down some hot uh, chaos Drop the world's hottest singles. <laughs> yeah. MC uh, Sonic T Hedgehog. <laughs> no, it'd be, it'd be Eggman, like in Lost World. We've been over this. He does that one cut to me, he just rhymes for no good reason. 
I think uh, I think his, his no, no, first. It's, we it's, see it, 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 it's the one where um. Tails gets mad. No. <laughs> Tails, Tails gets troll. No, it's the one where Eggman goes to be like, we need to work together. He goes, what was it? he goes, um, uh, we have a mutual, we have a mutual problem. One so big. The um, the 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 rebellious swine have stolen another device of mine, and they're using it in ways in which it was never designed. <laughs> <laughs> An uh, actual cutscene in Lost World, like that is not fake. That's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Eggman, if you ever try rhymes as sick as that again, this group may get a new set of parachute pants. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm <laughs> kill TJ. Eggman walked in and said that rap, and I said, Yo. That's a number one record. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, jokes. <laughs> so we get a nice, uh, a nice collection of uh, panels featuring uh, w- robot castle. Well, fe- featuring, yeah. featuring as in the game. This at this point, we should say, you know, the generally speaking, the Unleashed arc, very loose adaptation of just yeah. like uh, a few characters <laughs> and events and bosses, but not really a a whole story. From this point on, this kind of just becomes the last. Like half an hour of Unleashed, because at this point, you know, it's a bit where it's slightly different. Yeah, because as we see, Eggman um, was kind of messing around with Chip's thing, and as in the game, Chip calls forth all of the <coughs> his green ball on his neck. That was time that made it worse. Um, he calls forth all of the Gaia temples to come together to form the come Gaia together Colossus. Together, right now, over Eggman. For Eggman. <laughs> Look at Super the Beatles. Come on. Um, yeah, so all of the- that's the second Beatles thing we've done this episode. I think we need to end. We need to end <laughs> now. Um, and so all of the um, things come together to. It, it's weird how there's there's like there's no Eggman land in this story arc. Burn the issues. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's you like know, the best level ever. It is pretty good. Mm. It's pretty good. Um, it's, got, it's got a good music track. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really miss it because I didn't really miss it from the story. I guess. Hmm. Um. I mean, it would have been nice, but I think it would have it would have added like ten more issues. So, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm okay with it not being in here. I don't think it was. I don't think in the context of the story that was being told, it was necessary. Yeah, yeah. Plus, so plus, Eggman's dozen like. Oh, that's right. Place in Eggman it land, was in. So. Oh yeah. You know what? My bad. My bad. My bad. Did you call yourself someone who buys and reads this book? He did that like three weeks ago, man. Stop hitting yeah. me, Daddy. I've, I've read. I've read that story like seven times, preparing for. Yeah. <laughs> so I read them as we're recording the issues, and I read them like like the morning before, or the like right before we meet up. And so every time we're like, oh, we're going to do it today. And then we just don't end up doing this. So I've, I've read these issues way too many times. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the, the Gaia Colossus, or, yeah, the Gaia Colossus is uh, formed. And Eggman goes inside to pilot it. Um, Sally calls Amy, who is currently in uh, Sonic Universe 89. Uh, <laughs> And says, "Hey, we need to put the uh, put the world back together now." And she's like, "What? We are fighting Nogus." She doesn't say that. I mm. think I think if she said that, she would have gotten a little more time. But you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> it would have been like, "Oh, okay. Sorry, okay. everybody. Just hold on a second. <laughs> just wait a minute." <laughs> Apparently, he disguised himself as an echidna. So he and means Eggman, business. Eggman's like has a fist, like about to destroy something. <laughs> just like. Alright. <laughs> Time out! This better be quick. I can see that working in a Sonic Boom cartoon. Yeah. So I'm just calling for a timeout and we're like, okay. Alright. <laughs> Not that line in the last episode of the first season where Sonic goes, I'm gonna smash you in the next week. I'm gonna be busy next week. I mean, I can be scheduled, but. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so. For the next couple pages, they're plotting out what they're going to do. Um, so they're just going to storm in and beat the ever-loving crud. Uh, I guess the, the Sky Patrol is going to take on the Death Egg and try to try to stop it from powering up. 
uh, as best it can while, I guess, Sonic takes on the, uh, the, the guy, uh, Colossus. Colossus. And yeah, I'm nearly, if I had just gone literally <laughs> forward one page, I would have seen, there it is, Eggman <laughs> Yeah. We, we are terrible at I life. guess it's just because it's such a big thing in the game. Like, they make such a well, big thing that he's finally made it. And the book is just isn't like, well, well, yeah, it's, the, it's in the background. The other thing is, he spends several games going on and on since about... Since SA1. Since SA1 being like, and I'm even going the to build... for some of the classic yeah. games have Robotnik land yeah. that he's trying well, it's to... It's funny because we, when we were going through and did the SA1 LP, we realized... Eggman's, like, half his plan's complete by the end of the game. He wanted Station Square in rubble. And that's where it kind of is at the end of the game. Just make, just make a theme park, you idiot. You're done. Yeah. He just wants to make a theme park? Oh. So many of his things about, like, in Shadow the Hedgehog is a theme park. In yeah. college, he makes, like, seven theme parks. But He, he just, just wants to know. entertain people using murder. That's what I'm saying, like... Let him do it once <laughs> and see what, it, see what let happens. Him, give him a chance. <laughs> give, no, no, no. We let's, need Eggman. Let's, let's give Eggman a chance shirts. <laughs> we need to make those. Um, I love that comic where Eggman's like Trump. <laughs> and he's sitting in. You've never seen that? No. What? Yes, you have. Maybe. Where, uh, where like, Sonic's like, this can't be happening. And Tails like, well, I mean... Maybe Crooked Sally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, like, the last panel is Eggman, like, in the Oval Office. And he's just like, I can't believe this works. <laughs> <laughs> this, I want to see that. that there's a great. great panel where, um, where, uh, when Nicole speaks to Rotus, says that, you know, there's all this, they have all this power now in the Sky Patrol. There's this one shot where Rutus says, all right, then, here we go. And I swear, Rutus is drawn, like, goofy. Oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> they look they're a lot goofy. If Goofy had, like, giant Morris tusks, yeah. that's like a Goofy-looking yeah. face. Gosh, go yuck, go yuck. It just destroys the egg death egg. Gosh. Gosh. Gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> you almost that. said the F word. I heard I that. I want that. <laughs> sorry, um, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bunny, Sally... And Antoine are on top of the tornado, uh, going towards the Death Egg, but they are, they are, uh, their their route is impeded by the E one hundred units that we've been seeing since the beginning of the the uh, reboot. Um, yeah, those guys. So Sonic, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just uh, you know, the, guys, the only those dudes, those dudes. The only one I really like is uh, Eta. He's he's the one I like. It's the b- 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 bad dudes. Bad, b- 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 bad dudes. Bad dudes. And, while Sonic uh, runs around on top of the uh, extreme gear. Yeah, he uses extreme gear because he can't fly. Can't I, fly. I forget. Do they just have? The ex- they, they all have extreme gear yeah. in general now. They do. Yeah. Okay. Which I mean, it makes sense that they need to ke- keep up with Sonic, right? But what Sonic they want? To fly, because he can't fly. To keep up with Sonic. (laughs) (laughs) To keep up with Kardashians. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) It's okay. It's been cancelled. It's okay. We can make jokes about it. What? what, The Archie Burke or the Kardashians? Kardashians. Both of them. Both have been cancelled. That exclusive (laughs) club. Keeping up with Sonic Dashians. Sonic Dashians is the game we can play. Um, (laughs) Yeah, so... uh, Get a load of this! It's the Egg Dragoon! Woo! What's nice is that they have a little moment where Sonic's running around the tables, which is very similar to when in the final boss fight, in the first phase. Oh, what's that? No, it's the second phase. First phase is, is the Gaia Colossus fighting Dark Gaia. Second phase is Sonic running around, I think. Right. Or, or they, well, it depends oh, on the version. They were combined. I think in the Wii version, they, they, were they combined in the Wii version? Yeah, the Wii version, yeah, you would like hit them. Hit, Dark Gaia once, and then you would control Sonic to hit him? No, the, that that's the hasty version. The, the Wii version is like Punch-Out. It's, it's like a boxing match between oh, the... Oh, That yeah. version's awesome. Yeah, like that's that's that the best version. But, yeah. Yeah, so in, I guess in this version, the Egg Dragoon comes after that. Because, I hate the Egg Dragoon. What? It's like, it's like my favorite Eggman mech over the Death It's a robot. really good mech. I love... I mean, I'm not, I'm not too crazy about the boss fight in Unleashed, just because the frame rate goes to hell in that. Mm. But the Generations fight... 
I hate it Mwah. because I can't beat it. I've never beaten Generations because I can't beat the Egg Dragoon. Whoa, you can't beat the Egg Dragoon? I, I, I got dude. stuck on uh, the Time Eater. Time Eater's just terrible. Yeah, I, that I, terrible. I have no time idea what to do. Like, I'm 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 pressing the buttons that it, they scream at me to do, and it doesn't do any damage. Just do it! <clears throat> it's a home and show, Jonathan. But yeah, this issue ends with the uh, egg, Dra- egg Dragoon appearing for battle. For no good reason. For battle! Which uh, moves us along to Song the Hedgehog issue 286, Panic in the Sky, part 3, Colossal Crash. Written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Diana Skelly, pages 1 to 10, Adam mm. Bryce Thomas, pages 11 mm. to 20, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassiter, letters by John Workman, cover by Dan Tronin and uh, Luis Antonio Delgado. Battle in this, in, sorry, Battle with the Egg Dragoon variant by the main man, Tracy Yardley. I love Tracy. I actually have this cover as a print. I, think I, I, I did. I did too. I think I really we like bought it. it for him like a year before like this issue even came out. I think so. Yeah, he I, had yeah. these prints a while ago. Yeah, I think you made it. I did. Moving on. No, I think you made it. I did. You know, I got it from both you mooks. You don't have any money. Who are you thinking that? I actually bought my own. Like Gareth. Yeah. And that one. Yeah. <laughs> and Jabu. Jabu the Hutt. Um, so we, uh, we see the Sky Patrol, uh, like, firing on the, uh, Death Egg. We see Sally, Antoine, and Bunny fighting the E-100 robots, and we see Sonic fighting the Egg Dragoon. Sonic, uh, Sonic is running around the, uh, Guy Colossus taunting Eggman, uh, as, as Sonic does. While he is trying to, you know, beat the other eleven crud crud at him. There's, there's, this is really good. This is some really good action. Um, no, there's a nice not my ever loving crud. <laughs> there's Take a nice self loathing crud. There's a, there's a nice little moment where Sonic runs around the finger of the, uh, the mm. Colossus and kind of hides out uh, at the bottom of the fingertip. Like um, she does a good job of playing with you know, running around this guy called Colossus. Like, it, it's a really beautiful set of pages. Um, one of my favorite bits is Sonic jumps on top of the Egg Dragoon and starts to starts to uh, taunt Eggman a little more. Uh, he says, My friends don't need to be up here. I'm counting on them to handle the rest of the plan, which means I'm free to handle you. And Eggman says, Handle me? Toy with, mess with, take your pick. And Dagman says, I'll pick what's left of you off the pavement! I don't know what voice that is. Um, so then he just rams himself with Sonic on his, uh, on the top of the Egg Dragoon into the Gaia Colossus. Uh, meanwhile, Bunny beats up, uh, E-106 Eta by shoving her glowing green fist through his face. And uh, tails guns down the bird one, the bird one hundred series. That's yeah, iota, iota. I don't, I don't, Isn't I don't that? care one iota about that bird. <laughs> I don't, I don't give one iota. But oops, smoke them. Yeah, I'm still mourning over Etta. That was my, that was my favorite. Got him. Uh, so there's a nice little it's 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 like uh rotor is going up again essentially going up against orbot and cubot because he's piloting the sky patrol while they're playing pi- uh piling piloting the uh death egg uh they shoot down the sky patrol which lands i guess uh or not. Or not. Dun dun dun. <laughs> well, this is unleashed, so maybe it clips through the. <laughs> clips through the <laughs> um. Yeah, Sonic uh, gets frozen. Is that something the Egg Dragoon did? Yeah, the Egg Dragoon had um, like a flamethrower and like ice missiles. Yeah. Oh. Because there's that part in uh, Generations where you have to jump between the the ice shots. It's time for a change of pace. It is time for a change of pace. You know what? There is also a change in pace because day turns to night. Sonic, frozen in ice, turns into the Werehog, who cracks out of the ice and uh, starts turning the tide again. Uh, (laughs) This is where Adam Bryce Thomas uh, 
takes over with this uh, two yeah. page fighting scene and also for some reason on my copy the coloring gets really light yours looks normal hmm. that's weird oh i actually released effective huh. issues haha <laughs> Oh, oh, this this is good. Size. Awesome. Wow. Or your is yours? Is it? Which is mine. Yeah, mine is lighter. So you're reading from the variant and I'm reading from the Yeah, I, I have the variant as well. I'm I'm reading from the no I have the variant cover. Oh, okay. And I'm reading from the regular issue. So it's, it's maybe the regular issue just had lighter No, color. you have the variant. Oh yeah, maybe. No, maybe the you variant have the variant. Had, had correct no, you coloring. Have the variant. Everybody check under your chairs. <laughs> you get a variant. You get you a variant. Get a variant. <laughs> but you don't. <clears throat> I'm looking at you, Steve. <laughs> okay, so Sonic crashes through the head of the uh, the Colossus and finds Chip, frees him, uh, and Sonic starts to uh, I don't know have a heart attack, <laughs> some con- some some uh, heartburn. He needs to take some Pepsi AD. Is all I'm saying. Uh, with the uh, Egg Dragoon broken, uh, Eggman is watching in horror as uh, in his uh, Eggmobile as the Dark Guy energy is spilling out into the atmosphere because suddenly he's an environmentalist. You know, go figure. Suddenly. 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 Look, Susan. I destroyed the planet, but I didn't want pollution to take over. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we see that uh, that Sonic chur- churns some butter. Sonic turns back into uh, Sonic, regular Sonic, as Dark Gaia forms and becomes really ugly and very um, gremlin-esque. I love, I love that guy. It looks great in the um, in the CG. He does look like a group. Before he gets his eyes back again, he does look like a big gremlin. I love it. Yeah. Um, Sonic has to cheer up Chip, because Chip is like, oh no, I failed, I let everybody down, and Sonic's like, hey, it's not over yet, we're still there, and we can, we can save them all, we can help everybody. Sonic, Sonic succeeds in cheering up Chip, and then turns into Super Sonic to kick some butt in some place that is not, you know, Wild Canyon, but you know, whatever. (laughs) So now here it is, everyone, what we waited two years for. Son Hedgehog, issue 287, Panic in the Sky, part 4, finale, as was foretold. Written by Ian Flynn, pencils by our main man, Tracy Yardley. Inked by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassiter, letters by John Workman, covered by Dan <coughs> Tronin and Luis Antonio Delgado. Um, editor, plus the super variant, um, Vincent uh, Lavallo. Lavallo? Lavallo? Yeah. Yeah. Lavallo. Lavallo. You're adding letters there. I love this cover. This is great. It's really, really, really it's his, good. Uh, it's his first, first time, time actually officially. I mean, he did he did draw stuff for the um, editor's notes, but this is like the first time I think he's. Well, it's definitely the first time he's done a cover. I think it's the first time he's done. I'm pretty sure. I think he he put posted on his Twitter that that was the case. <clears throat> So you're going to take his word for it? I am. I trust him. Take his word over how many times he's done art for covers? I met him. He's a very nice guy. Did you know? He's very nice. You're a liar. (laughs) I have my, I have my, uh, uh, my, my Sonic Genesis, or Sonic. Yeah, Genesis. You're talking about the hardcover? Yeah, the hardcover. He signed it. Very nice. Um, so I just want to say right off the bat, Tracy Artie, Tracy Artie. Tracy Yardley Ain't art. no party like a Tracy yeah, Yardley. Like a Tracy <laughs> Yardley, don't stop. <laughs> so, um, right from the get-go, the Tracy Yardley art just pops. That like, Super Sonic <clears throat> is a great, great way to stop. Like, going, like, reading these issues in order, and then getting to this page, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of jarring, but in a good way. It's just like, whoa, Tracy's back, Yeah. Like, it's it's a really... I, I think putting Tracy on the last issue of this extremely long storyline is was a really good idea because it, um... I don't know, it just feels like, oh, this, this is, this is you know, big, it's epic, it's, um, like... Like, pulling out the stops when you, you put Tracy on it or something. Mm-hmm. Like, it, um... And his, his art just goes really well with this coloring and, like, 
his inking is is really good throughout this issue. Like, you think so? Yeah. Well, okay. I, I it's I, it's better. I think his I think his his art takes Austin's inking better than Adam Bryce Thomas and Diana Skelly's. My only problem with sometimes the inking whenever the whenever like you're seeing a character from far away and they're small. Yeah, but the inking is is quite weak on those and like, yeah. on, on big so again like the first page that Super Sonic mm. looks awesome yeah like whenever, whenever it, the character is like close up the inking actually works whenever you get like whenever you see a battle from far away it just <clears throat> it just makes the um yeah. the pencil see, look, it just, I don't know just, I got you know, a little excited so I so I was like I, I was all about to just but yeah no I mean I I guess what I want to say is it's Terry Austin's inks I think out of most of the rest of the uh, the artists, I think he he does the best on Tracy's. I think so. Okay. Yeah, like I, I I feel like I feel like um, I I feel he better. he does the best with Evan Stanley because I think his inking fits her penciling style better. You know than, what? Then I'll agree with that. You're right. because hers hers is a much thinner line and she has more details in mm-hmm. it. The other one too is uh, Tyson Hess, especially when he did like that. Didn't he do the control or whatever with the werehog? And it was like this really scratchy, kind of broke up lines, but it fit. Wasn't it? I think. No, I, I think don't think that was cool. Tyson Hess. Was that I think that, no, was... that was Anna Skelly, I think. Yeah. I, think Ty- oh, okay. I think Tyson Hess has just done <clears throat> Mega Drive, and I want to say he did the last arc of Worlds Unite. I think that was Tyson. Yeah, Hiss. yeah, yeah. He, he did some in the main book too. I could have. I think. I, think I know he's, he's done some he's covers. Done covers. He's done covers. He, he, he might have. I'm done. not sure if he did an issue. I think like the. Um, you're thinking of. You're thinking of Mega Drive. Drive. Yeah. No, I, I still in the jungle. Uh, I'll, I'll the look jungle. it up. Or we can. We've got fun and games because it's really bothering me. <laughs> so uh, Sonic f- uh, goes up against. Oh God, that's an eyeball. Um, <laughs> Sonic and uh, Chip in the. Uh, Gaia Colossus go up against Dark Gaia, um, just you know, super sonicking the crud out of out of this this little the ever loving crud the ever ever loving crud. Um, the rest of the Freedom Fighters, meanwhile, are watching you know the world go to crud, uh, and they're like, oh, let's check out and see what's going on at the, the Sky Patrol. And they're like, hey, Rotor, what are we going to do to help Sonic? And Rotor's like, uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, he, this is, this is God-level stuff, kid. Uh, we better just sit down, and I've got this, um, that's clearly beer. Chow cola. That is clearly beer. It's clearly, a, it's fake, clearly a, ba- a beer yeah, bottle, yeah. But it's like, clearly a beer with a fake label on it, just uh, so the, tails You know what? This, this makes sense, though. It's like, what are we going to do? They're literal gods, you know? It's like yeah. in... Like the Avengers, when Dakota was like, Captain America, you can't do anything, man. They're gods. And he's like, I don't think God dresses like that, man. I'm Captain America. You know what? Why Why you gotta go there? You know? <laughs> yes, if, Steve he, Rogers. if he chooses to dress in a, in a trench coat with horns, that's fine. That's for him to decide. Yeah, you're a jerk, Cap. Jerk Cap. That's the next. I understood one. that reference. <laughs> that was Cap Wolf. More fighting. Uh, more fighting. Uh, more fighting. Sonic is like, "Hey guys," and they're like waving. Uh, more I, I fighting. Did, I, did, I didn't mention before we started that I love that panel because, like, that they're in danger and. <clears throat> Sonic's essentially Sonic's just like about to be like not on my watch, but he like they don't realize they're in yeah. danger, and he like looks over, and he, it's it's not, it's almost like um, they're not fully in focus because mm-hmm. they're all kind of like like chibi. Oh and, yeah, and Rotor's just like ah, hi. <laughs> hi Sonic, <laughs> I'm drunk, <laughs> I'm drunk <laughs> yo. <laughs> Sally's standing there just concerned about Rotor's well-being, like, oh, well, Yeah, oh, because, man. like, like, like they, 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 there's a possibility they all could be destroyed and, like, everything, like, goes south. That's why Rotor's getting drunk to numb the pain of it, you know? Rotor's, Rotor's just, about ready like, to fall off the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Rotor's just like, Come we're back. gonna let Sonic take care of all this. 
That's all we do anyway. <laughs> Quarter, I think it's time for bed. I'll tell you when it's time for bed. There's a nice, bad. there's a nice moment um, with Eggman where it would set up a. Uh, yeah, upcoming storyline to be that most likely never will be now. That's Archie. Where he basically saying that um he's you know discovered that the raw mm-hmm. power of the world is is much more powerful than he thought it which would work just as well as Dark Gaia energy. He says if he can find a way to siphon it someplace remote where Sonic won't find me and then he gets in his egg um death egg to fly away, but he's clear that is clearly a setup to a lost world arc. Yeah. Well, they they even at the end of Eggman dozen, dozen, yeah, they he talks about he's lost he's lost the um cacophony conk and Wendy goes um, uh, we go we hunted for Yeti and he's like we talking about I want my I want my shell back, I want my magic musical shell back woman so I can say things like uh, what the shell again I really missed that <laughs> um, I don't that was terrible yeah so, so Eggman flies away. And then Sonic just murders the dark guy. He, he shoves his freaking body through his head. That's that's murder. Through the eye, like in yeah. And then yeah. just like well, in, he goes straight through like butter, and like I like how the lava's a little bit more red, like behind his head when he falls down. It's kind of like blood just splashing. Yeah, but in context of the game, dark guy's blood is green, because he bleeds like you wouldn't believe in that game. Oh yeah. Have you ever seen it? The... I um. I I got to I got to Eggman Land and then I moved out of my parents' house. Like life's too short. For I, I, this. I moved out of my 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 parents' house and I almost said grandparents' house. Moved out of my parents' house and didn't have access to a uh, Xbox. So <laughs> yeah. So uh, Sonic turns returns blue again, back, away from superness. Um, lands on the Gaia Titans hand there's a nice two page spread showing everyone uh everyone being happy that the world is coming back together do we see we do not see knuckles and amy they died well because i think that's obviously the, the setup you know because you don't want to you don't wanna reveal yeah. they succeeded so i just assume just they died. Yet. yeah what? Oh wait, but they do later we on we see him later on but we don't see him at that point when yeah. everyone's everyone's happy and smiley so Sonic's like, yeah, now we can now we can party, Chip. And Chip's like, no, I have to melt. I have to die now. I have, I have to, to die. I have to do do a T two. I, I mean, know now why you cry. He's like, no, I'm going to the center of the earth, so I don't have to see your freaking face again, stupid hedgehog face with the hedgehog. I'm gonna go party with those moment from Fantastic Four. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought we were gonna hang out for that. I, I thought we were cool, Chip. You're a bum man. You're a hedgehog man. Stupid hedgehog face. <laughs> hedgehog. <laughs> One eye and two pupils. Stupid. Your ice cream bars don't even look like you. And hedgehog <laughs> face. Hedgehog. So, Chip does get to say goodbye and make everyone cry. Um, he's like, oh, Tails and Rotor, you're so smart. I love you. Bunny and Antoine. Tails, I want you to shoot me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Antoine and Bunny, you know, you love you and, and you protect you. Blah, blah, blah. Sally and Nicole, you were friends. I like that. And then he's like, cream and cheese and big. I don't remember you very well. Okay. You're far away. Bye. <laughs> That's you what he says. I wish I could be closer to saying it. Bye. <laughs> Tell Amy I didn't love her. I like I like Big's Big's ears. He's like jeeps. That's loud. Whoa. Amy Knuckles, thank you for inspiring me with your passion. I love reading writing fan fiction about you guys. <laughs> It's like I wish, I wish uh, your your Sonic uh, Universe arc was just you two making out, but you know whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Shadow just got Sonic, away. Sonic's just like, I might skip to the end. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know mention in me. Get back to me. It's my book. Uh, then as he goes, as he dies, he's like, you're the best, and come back now. I think this is. Uh, I think Ian takes this dialogue from the end of the game. Like, I'll, I'll be here by you always, a part of the earth you tread. 
I'll be here by you always is definitely a line from the last cutscene of um, <laughs> Home Unleashed. Uh, and then, yeah. And then, and then just like the game, just like the um, end of the game, Sonic gets um, Chip's bracelet. Or Chip's, like, necklace. Sh Shoker. And then he puts it on like a bracelet. And then yeah. it's like, well, thanks to Chip, <laughs> the world's saved. And now we're going to watch Sunset, but we're stranded in the ocean. So we're all going to die. Yeah. Do you think you can see and me? the sharks came. <laughs> and then so the last panel is is uh, Chip give, like, hugging the world. But if he was really that big, he's just crushing the world. Yeah. I saved the world, so I, I could destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I I like to think that Sonic was like, is he is he looking? Has he gone into the world Earth? Can I can I take this off now? <laughs> it's really cra clashing my style. I won't have this by the time we play Generations. Who cares? I, um, I, I will say I read this story arc like just a couple months ago when I knew the when I knew it was like canceled or not coming back. So yeah, by the I mean, time nothing the, is official, but yeah, yeah. By the time I, I read through it, it's like I mean it was some nice closure, I guess. I, yeah. I know there was you know Mega Drive or Mega, Genesis, Genesis of the Hero. Hero. Yeah, it, it's weird, is that like, for a it's just, like I said it's kind of odd that um, the arc went so kind of deviated from Unleashed to such a point. But, like, this this issue is just the dark, the perfect Dark guy boss fight. Yeah. Right. You know, we have, we have some nice side. We've got a nice little, nice few moments of it. It's literally just like they fight and then he goes through the eye and it sinks down and he falls up in the air. Um, as one does. As one does. So that is, um, that is, what's the name of this arc again? I can't even remember. Panic and Sky. Yeah. Panic and Sky. You know, it's, uh, you know, so it's the, we're finally done with the Unleashed arc. That's, um, that's my thing. If there was something to look forward to, I would be like, we're finally done. But now it's like, okay. Yeah. Part, part of me almost wishes, and I hate, I hate what I'm about to say, part of me almost wishes this was the last one that came out before this issue. Because then yeah. at least it'd be like, yeah, if, if this is the end, closure. It's a nice ending. You know? Yeah, it, that, that's why reading it, like, knowing that this was pretty much it besides Genesis of the Besides Euro. three issues that don't even finish it, right, a story. they don't you know? even finish with Sonic 3 Knuckles. Um, which is, which you know, it's a it's a fine arc. It wraps up, you know, the story. But again, it's just, I would, it's in a certain point way, it is kind of anticlimactic because it is just the end of the Unleashed game in a yeah. non Unleashed story arc. It would have been cool to kind of bring in more, like you know, they they had the Battle Bird Armada and d different things, but to bring in like the different groups under Eggman fighting the different mm. freedom fighters and have like a larger scale battle with more <coughs> characters included maybe mm. with the Dark Gaia fight I don't know yeah well, I mean cause, like, from issue 2 it kind of just drops all the original stuff and just becomes here's the Exagoon fight from the game here's the Air Coliseum fight from the game here's Dark guy, fight from the game. You know, it's really like, it, it's it's kind of strange. You being like, ah, it's too much like the game. Well, it's, it's, you're it, usually like, yeah, it could be more like the game. Well, it's 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 just it it's it's just odd that yeah they chose like the last two issues to get super. Like, we're gonna do everything everything from the game is gonna be in it now. <laughs> I just I just think it's interesting that, that that's that's a sticking point with you right now. I'm not saying it's yeah. bad to me. It just feels awkward it just, it just it, 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 just because the rest of the story was so deviated so much from the yeah. structure of the unleashed game and story I I, I, ex I honestly ex I mean obviously we knew it had to end with them fighting dark guy I guess that's the whole point of the thing but I, I didn't expect it to be so close I, I kind of expected it to go in a more original more original I mean, way. What what would they do besides just fight Dark Gaia? Well, you know what? Well, you I mean, just explained something. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. you know, it, 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 it's the fact that it's you no, know, it's the the same the same location, the same yeah. setup. The egg dragoons there. You know, it's. I mean, again, these are minor nitpicks. They're still. They, I would probably say Panic in the Sky is is one of the more entertaining to to read through. I mean, there are some the certain arcs around the middle point where I don't even remember them. See, I um. Which, speaking of which, actually, Tyson has did do the pencils for two sixty four and two sixty five control. What's the okay, okay, okay part okay. one and two? Oh yeah, this is happening. Um, <clears throat> so I actually I, I think the first two issues issues of this story are a lot um 
are a lot stronger than the last two. Yeah, maybe it is that. because I mean, because it's not just see like Gem Rule fight in the witchcraft. Yeah, like kind of there's stuff. some really interesting like, stuff like happening. Origin, like, yeah, I, mean, I never fight. Mm-hmm. See Gem Rule fighting the witchcrafters, you know, or the punching out the hooligans. Yeah, you know, like there's some really nice action going on that was really enjoyable. Like this, this was those two issues made this really great art. It's weird because the the assault on top of the Sky Patrol reminded me of um, Wu Night Arc Two. Oh, yeah. But this was way more fun to read than that. You're right, yeah. You know? Huh. Let's fight with the Mavericks. Okay, they're gone now. Bye! Let's fight all the Battle Bards. Battle Bards? <laughs> it's the Battle Bard on water! Battle, battle Bard on water! <laughs> Wait, what about What about Beetleborgs? <laughs> Beetleborg? <laughs> the Beetleborg Big Mod. Big Beetleborg Battle of Water! <laughs> oh... I don't know. So, I you know, see nothing wrong with that name. <laughs> Let's make cereal boxes using that name. The processed cereal. I already did. <laughs> I withdraw my request. They will all fear the name Taserface. He's a, it's metaphorical, John. It's, it's metaphorical. So, again, um... You know, let's let's go through it. So, for, t- you can read it, so no one cares what you have to say. But uh, you skimmed it in like five minutes. Yeah, I still have thoughts though. <laughs> okay, thoughts on Panic in the Sky. I like Sonic. Bobby, thoughts on Panic in the Sky. Oh, I like Knuckles. <clears throat> Jonathan, no, thoughts on Panic in the Sky. <laughs> Antoine fan number one. Um, so yeah, no, I like uh, I like this art. Um, Diana Skelly's um, pencils were a delight in the first two. Mm-hmm. Uh, parts, well, first two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. Um, you know, there's some fun action. Um, that I think you're right. Prequel. That first issue is like the the best of the whole. The yeah, order. it was like you started big, you started like super big, and then even though it's like big monsters fighting, it kind of felt small. Yep. Like it, it's it's weird. Like it, it it's seemed because, bigger. It's because it wasn't, then... it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't actually big. It was just something you wanted to see. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was there was just a lot more going on. I, I guess that makes it feel bigger, or more. It's like it's like the um, the the final fight in Avengers. They started with that, and then um, then they like cut to then then there. It's just like um, like the final fight in Captain America. Because it's just two people fighting, but it's yeah, everyone but to, fighting. To be fair, one beginning. is the personification of evil in the planet, and there's a giant grumble <clears throat> monster. He doesn't even talk, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really, I, I really enjoyed this uh, this arc. Um, we might have been a, real, a little rough on the uh, on the the recap issue, but I did read it seven times, so <laughs> <laughs> so I, it might have made me a little cranky. Uh, but you know, overall, nice. Oh, I do want to say the connect. The, there was a connect cover. I don't think yeah. we talked about it. No. I love um, how you say that. What connect, connect cover? Yeah. Uh, okay. There was one time. There was one time we had a conversation, and he said the words "connect a cover" like thirty times yeah. in the span of the conversation, and I was just like, I don't know what it is. It's just I like that aesthetic. Yeah, connect Give me cover. those uh, ASMR feels, fam. The tingles connect, in my brain sphere. The connect a cover. Um, out of all the connected covers that they've done, <laughs> they have done. I have to. You you just made some like I have your inappropriateness. I have to be louder now so that I can block it out. Um, this connected cover is my least favorite out of like the five they've done since the reboot. I would have to say. I'll be honest. I got the first two so, connected covers, and then I was like, I prefer the variant. So I, I got yeah. the. Variant. I wish I wish I would have gotten the Evan Stanley variant. Mm. That is. We have to get back on this show because she's yeah she's, she's great so damn talented. I um I don't know I'm not a huge fan of the the artists as aesthetic who who did the connected cover for this. I don't think I thought it was a little um it I didn't th- go together as well as the other ones. I don't feel like it was because a lot of times did the connected covers uh tell show an actual kind of s- yeah story, but in this one it's like you have. Sonic the Werehog and Super Sonic in the same picture, where it doesn't really. It's like, yeah, okay. yeah. It was very disjointed, and it was kind of the the way they split it up to four kind of mm-hmm. was odd to me. It was yeah, really it didn't it didn't feel well. I think my favorite right. connect the cover is probably still the Boom Issue one. 
That is a very that's good one. Good. That's a good one. Yeah. Ben Bates at the very beginning of the, that, re- the reboot. That, that really is my favorite. I no, went no, out no and... I'm sorry. Tell a lie. Tell a lie. As, as much as I didn't really care for it as an arc, would you not? Yes. Oh, that was yeah. huge. Yeah. I want that as a poster, man. I know Archie can't sell posters. Yeah. But well, that I was, was like all 12 issues. 12 issues, issues made one big. And that was a and damn was good a looking, good, looking yeah, thing. Was, yeah. Really was good. good. Really good. Uh, but yeah, and so I guess hmm. um, the Unleashed arc as a whole. Um, I I kind of I kind of I mean I I kind of wish and um it would have been a bit more condensed. Yeah, I mean, mean, as long as it was, you were going to have dips. So I I feel like I feel like the dips kind of make it be like, well, this could be done faster. Yeah, and they weren't even they weren't even large dips. It was just like I say the biggest. You know, well, the two biggest dips, I, I don't even want to call them dips, but obviously when they shoehorned in World Unite, obviously, because that, yeah. Yeah. I think it's been pretty much proven that that was not Ian's idea. Archie yeah. was like, we need to have another crossover idea, you know? So that was that was four months we had to wait. And again, I said before, my, my favorite story arc from the Unleashed overarching story... Has nothing to do with it. ...is Champions. One of the most fun things... To do with with this book in general, but I I honestly think it it that should have been a universe arc self contained. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because it, it, again, as I said, all, all that happens is they get one chaos symbol. It's a yeah. fun yeah, as hell for four, for four issues. For four issues, it's it, again it's one of the one of the most entertaining arcs. The Diane Scales artwork is fantastic. Yeah. Ian does really good characterization, especially for for like uh, Knuckles and Tails get some really good moments. Love that one. If I was to rank all my favorite arcs in the entire history of this of this uh, book. That would easily be in my top ten, maybe even my top five, but yeah. it slows this story down. Well, it slows it's the, the it, three month delay yeah. too during this whole thing. So that, that's that's almost a whole year due to delays. World Unite and a, a incredibly entertaining story arc that just slows the story down. I mean, and I feel like I feel like there were like that. That's a big problem when you have stories that either do very little to further the plot but are very good stories they take away from the main story and the main focus yeah because it, it just it distracts and it makes things seem like like in comparison to um champions it, it feels like you're going into a dip after that because you're like, well, Champions was so great, and now we're, we're, we're back. But it's like, you, you start to realize and this has been... There's so many you know, issues of them just breaking into, like, Eggman places to get the keys. And so, yeah. a lot of those stories, like, I can't... I, 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 I know I've read them, but they all kind of merge yeah, together. Yeah, trying to like, think of the names of the stories and, like, like what well, happened with each con- one. Control like, is the one where he learns control. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. See, it's I, it's... It's it's like <laughs> think I, about it. <laughs> the whole idea, the whole idea is that Unleashed is traveling around the world, and we're going to introduce this new world to everyone by going around it. Makes sense but, because that was that's what the game was, you know. Yeah. In, as I'm sure everyone knows, in Japan, that game is called Sonic World Adventure. Makes perfect sense that to use that as a basis for a arc where you want to reintroduce yeah. a new world to readers. Yeah. I I just felt there was certain, and I've said this in the past. I feel there was, maybe maybe a touch of. Too many new characters introduced. Yeah, there are a lot of arcs. So, but it's just like there's there's like five. There's like this new team of people we're gonna meet. It's five, it's right. five characters. Every new ish, uh, ish. new new new. Uh, and like I like you know a lot a lot of them are, are entertaining. A lot of them are fun. But it's just like I mean I get that we're trying to build because the last the, the pre reboot yeah. was so vast. There's so many original characters. I get that Ian wanted to to have that again. But I part of me just like I just. Smooth, just and part, and part of it too there, there's really well now at this point there's really no payoff yeah to all of that you know they introduce these characters and set it up for future stories but they're, it's they're, they're, again they're, we, we don't know for sure we, we don't know for sure, we'll just but, say that none of us in this room are are uh, hopeful unfor- yeah unfortunately we're too cynical it, it's unlikely we I guess think it's keep saying oh it's cancelled yeah it's not it's not officially, officially. technically neither was Mega Man can't but, see mm, and the, the you never. Sometimes you never know officially whether something is canceled. They might say something. I would love nothing more for this book to you know, come back, but they're, I they're, don't. I just um, had yeah. I just had a book canceled on me, and how I found out was uh, the writer made a post on Tumblr or on her blog about it, and it's like 
Um, I don't, I don't foresee, you know, if, if there's not like a, hey, this is the last issue, like an official thing from Archie, you know, we're not going to get that. We're never going to get it. Says, Ian mm-hmm. says, hey, it's canceled. So, yeah. We're only ever going to get like unofficial word. Yeah. Until yeah. like. Like something Someone else picks that, it up. Yeah, like it, it, we're we'll get we'll get that, and then people will be like, "What? Why hasn't Archie said anything?" And they still never will. Well, they don't need to, too. They 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 literally literally don't need to. There's no I guess reason they, for I, them. To. I get that. There's... It's polite, but they don't need to. So. So the end, the end of did we exhaust ourselves enough about yeah, going like, off the rails? Yeah, well, you know, again, I yeah. think I, as a whole. I like the the uh, World Adventure arc. Yeah. It's long places. Could have been improved feelings here and there. But uh, again, overall, I, good and enjoyable. I, yeah. Again, we'll never yeah. get it. But I, I would have happily, well, not happily, but I would have thrown down like a hundred bucks for like an omnibus. Of every... Yeah, me too. Actually, you know what? Yeah. No, I hate those because when you get to the middle, the pages get too put together. You can't really see the whole page properly. I'd buy an omnibus. I hate omnibus. What about, I, I, what about... I'd buy it to put it on my shelf, but I just probably just reread the issues. What about like two or three like a oversized um, oversized deluxe editions. How many, how many issues? You know? how, many, how many actual issues is this? It was the Start new with... 252. Yeah. So 252 to 287. Minus four. Minus four. four. No, no, would it be minus, no, minus three? Oh, Sonic, well, yeah. Universe, Mega Man, and Boom. Minus, that's oh, minus three. Yeah. So, yeah. So, two, so yeah, so 284. Okay. About 32. So, 25, 32. So you could have um, three volumes of 10 issues each and then a, and a nice hardcover in a box. I, I did that. I did that. I think that would be good. I think that would have been nice. So it almost oh, you know it. what? But what about all the universe arcs? Because some of them tie in. So, like, you'd, you'd have to include Shattered. <laughs> and Eggman's how, Dozen. And Eggman's Dozen. I just love how Archie at this point... Has become, has become yeah, almost an, has become almost an endless conversation of wouldn't it be nice if <laughs> wouldn't dot, it dot, be dot. nice if we get some mm-hmm. trace do 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 but no mm-hmm. my, my dream is dead but yeah um thank you for joining us we've finally done it we've finally finished the unleashed arc Yay. let's go out for ice cream let's go some frosted chocolate milkshakes yeah. we have uh, two more um, episodes for the finish the Archie book. Um, please join us next time where we will be going through um, the Sonic Universe arc, Case of the Pirate Princess. I always forget there's so many like Pirate Plunder Panic, yeah. Treasure Team, I always, the tongue twisters. For something up. that only has like one game with pirates in it, there's a lot of pirates. They've milked book, a right? lot of pirates. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's the river, they've milked a lot. You know what we never did before, boys? Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> But um, thank you so much for joining us again. Um, if if you if you can find these copies available, I know I think Parkwest still has a bunch of pa- Panic in the Sky books. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, we we, know, out we recommend it. it. Recommend yeah. it. You know, it's a good it's a good read. Um, we do this because we want people to buy it. We do. So. And I think at this point too, the the Archie store. I think they still have variants and different yeah. I, I, I think they're sale. sent on sale so yeah. I, yeah. Uh, try hey, that. you know what? Show Archie that you like Sonic the Hedgehog and just. Buy their buy their Sonic issues and then don't buy anything Archie, ever. The Archie book's good. Oh, except for Jughead because that's now written by Ian Flynn. The Archie and, book's and, good. Uh, Mark Wade. Yeah, Archie's good. Yes, you're right. Josie, you not fan Josie? I I haven't. I love the last Afterlife. Few, I haven't gotten haven't, the last few issues. If Afterlife came out on a regular basis, I'd recommend that. But that last issue came out like see, eight months ago. See, I like I like Josie, but see between Josie and Jem. The J- Josie book is just a little but disappointing. Jim, Jim's gone now, my friend. Jim's gonna have a mini series. Actually, the last issue hasn't come out yet. Oh really? Okay. It, it, the last it, we're at a cliffhanger where um, Kimber is in a volcano. So. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, I think we're in there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. I've been FDA. I'm Jono. Uh, I'm T Bay. And I'm the anti guardian. Giggles the kid. <laughs> And we'll join you next time. Goodbye. New nickname. New nickname. New nickname. <laughs>